Ava. Hi everyone, this is Clara again. I'm back with our second interview from the Internationaux de France a couple of weeks ago. This one is with Kevin Emouz, the 2017 French national champ and current vice champ. Outside of IDF, we didn't really get to see very much of Kevin in international competition last season, but this season he's back on the scene, and the choreographic strength and emotional impact of his programs have definitely been getting him noticed. Uh, I was meant to interview Kevin just before the gala on Sunday, but he missed his coach to the rink, which I assume meant he barely got there in time for his own gala number. So instead, he sat down with me literally just as he came off the ice after that number, uh, still in costume, scraped palm and all. And to top it all off, he did the whole interview in English. So thanks again to him for that. And here's the interview. Okay, so I'm sitting here with Kevin Nemoz. Hello, everybody. Thanks for saying hi. Um, who was super exciting this week at International de France. Yes. Um, yes, yes, yes. The first thing we wanted to ask about is your programs, because they're so contemporary and cool and unusual. And the short or the long? Well, I mean, we love both of them. But <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but we wanted to understand a bit more how you chose the music, what the story is behind them, that kind of okay. thing. Okay. Uh, on the short program, with my coach, we was waiting to find the music, and we saw the time fly, like we was in March, Mm -hmm. after the world and we saw oh, we need to change the short and and after March, April, May and we arrive in June, beginning of July and we say mm, we need a music and I have too many music I listen in my shower or in the car mm -hmm. or music of every day and this one was on my playlist and and I don't know why I did a move in my home. I was alone in my home and I did a move and I say wow It's cool mm. to do a show or dance. And I put this music uh, on the ice, at the, on ice uh, in training to uh, just the music yeah, we listen yeah, yes, yeah. in the training. Is this and the ones or is this the free? The, the short one. Okay, cool. And John and Sylvia look at me like, wow, the, you play this music and you skate really well mm. alone. Like my mind skated for me on the music and I didn't really see. So, and, and John and Sylvia say, it's going to be a really good music to do something. Mm. And we try, and the short was born. <laughs> That's really cool. That's the story of the short. And the story of the long, it's a little bit complicated and more secret. Okay. Because the music in this shirt by the Ewe Possum, mm -hmm. it's a music I know from a long time ago, really long time ago. And, and I was in really bad mood at this moment of my life in... April to June, mm -hmm. and I was in really bad, bad shape physically, mentally. I was a little bit lost because I didn't know what I gonna do in my life in skating. If I stop, if I don't stop, because I was really lost everywhere in my head. And and this music talk about something I can't tell because it's the it's the secret magic of sure. my program. Sure, because sure, if sure. I say what's the story behind. Everybody gonna look differently the program. Mm. And my program, it's like a story of, and everyone can understand the story, like mm. what you want to understand yeah, you. Want you. Them to, to project their own. Yes. Yeah, okay. But my story of this program, it's really secret, but the lyrics of the music is, was really in the perfectly match with my life. Mm. At this moment, I was really lost and too many lyrics with my private life, with my parents, with my sure. coach. Everything was matching. And when I hear this song for the too many times, and one day, it was a long time ago I didn't hear this music, and I was really in bad mood, a Sunday, I think. And I was crying with this music. Mm. And I said, okay, I need to go with this music at the end. I said, we need to do something this season with this music because It's a story of my life on this music and I need to show to everybody. And John and Sylvia arrived the next day too and said, oh, we find the perfect music. And it was an, another music from the era possible. And I oh. say, oh my God, <laughs> that's totally perfect because I want to show you, a, listen to your mm. music from the era possible. And we choose the one I, sh I choose because it was music of my heart. Yeah. 
And we chose this one. Yeah, you really connect to it, and it's incredibly yes. moving, right? I had friends who were at the Autumn Classic, and they were saying at the beginning, people were sort of not paying attention, and then as soon as you know, you got into the program, and everyone Thank started you. looking. It's really magnetic. Um, you mentioned that you weren't really sure over the summer whether you were going to come back or not, what you were going to do. How, yes, how did you decide? Yes, because I was a little bit... It's not like I'm going to stop or not stop. I was like, yes, I continue skating, but I was really lost. Like, I don't know if I'm really good to training and perform mm -hmm. competition sure. because last season the Federation was rude with me, but they do something good for me. Like, don't give me the competition to go. Mm -hmm. But behind this message, it's like a punishment, but a good punishment with me. They, I don't know how to say. The Federation did something really good with that because they make me more mad mm. because I was like, I want to go to this competition and I didn't go. And I was like, no, I need train, train and train and train. And I remember in one month I get two quads and before I never did quad. And, and I say a big thank you to my federation because sometimes we are on the federation, but they are good, really, with do me. They think, help. Do me. you think that was on purpose that they did that, or was I it just a happy accident? No, the federation was thinking about that. Mm. They okay. are smart for that. But I was really mad, like, oh, I don't have competition in my train, and now I just can say thank you to Katia oh, here to yeah. make me to show me I can train. Mm. Yeah, no, sure. I wanted to ask, since we're talking about jumps, about your triple axel. So you, I think, the only other man apart from Mizuru Hanyu who does it from a back counter? Um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah? So which it's is my awesome. favorite counter of... Uh, so can you tell axel. me like when you started doing it that way, what's, what the key difficulties the are? The first season I, I learned, I was really late to jump. Like, the first triple axel I, I did, I was 18. Oh, wow. Okay, That's yeah. really late. And I was with my coach from Grenoble, from mm -hmm. here, and, and she said, oh, I'll try with an eagle, mm -hmm. because I did double axel before with eagle. Yeah, sure. And after she said, oh, did the, uh, I think it's kind of, the eagle. Oh, the cantilever, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I say, try to do, you go back and you jump, it's like mm. an eagle. And after we do with uh, Ina Bauer. Yeah. And after we say, oh, with the just uh, the edge, mm. back edge. And after we said, oh, we're gonna do a counter. And we tried too many things. I know, I know, I can do the axel with seven entry, different entries. Wow, okay, yeah. That's cool because in my competition, I have three axel mm. and the three of have different entries. It's different entries. So cool. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Uh, I think it's the counter, mm -hmm. but because it's really fast, I can't think about the axle because on the Ina Bauer in my own program with the music, I'm staying, mm -hmm. staying, staying, staying. I'm like, oh my god, the axle it's at the end of the line, <laughs> and I need to be focused on my shoulder, my hip, mm. the timing because I have no timing. I'm staying. Yeah. And I need to create a timing at the moment of the yeah. jump. That's really hard. And no, I think it's my first time trying with the ego. Yeah. Because it's the first time I did triple axel with a special entry. Okay, cool. So the back count is almost easier. Right? Yes, you don't need to but I love it. because when I'm tired or really sleepy, and my coach is like, okay, triple axel with counter. I'm like, I'm sleepy, I'm tired, I can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> but it's really fast that I, I don't think about the axel and it's up and I go. Yeah. Directly. That's fun. Fun to do. Yeah. So it sounds like you experiment a lot with sort of your own dance moves, etc. Yes, that's fun. That's my favorite of skating because we use the body for everything. Mm. So is that mainly used so like that? What was it? The I don't know what to call it. The hydroblade Ina Bauer layback thing oh, that you do in the, in the free skate. It's the real name. It's the first time the someone did. Mm. It was John Zimmerman. Oh, okay. At the world, but really long time ago, mm. and he did but a small one, with not with real speed, and it just go and, and come back. back. Yeah. Yes, it was just two seconds. And Sylvia, the wife, my coach, too, mm -hmm. she, she, told, she told me just two weeks ago, John is really happy because he tried with too many students to do this move oh, really? and nobody did really good. And one day 
the first week I work with him, he said, oh, we're gonna do something fun, and I don't really know John. And he said, oh, try that. And I go directly, and I did. And he was like, wow, <laughs> what? You'd pass the test. Yes. <laughs> and, and everybody find, tried to find a name, mm. and John too tried to find a name, but, and I called it Jeezy for John Zimmerman. Jeezy Slide. Jeezy Slide, nice. That's, That's cool. cool. Jeezy Slide. <laughs> So how do you get your ideas? Do you watch a lot of dance or is it other skaters? Yes, or? we watch a lot of dance on the floor. Mm. I really look everything on skating. I don't have favorite skater. I really love the Canadian ice dancer, Paul and Piper. Mm. Really good. This season really good. Uh, in pairs for me, the French, for me, it's the top of the world this season. Really, I mean, yeah. for me, it's the middle. That's a so, yes. Yeah. And I look, Aliona and Bruno was my. Give me something after the Olympic. Mm. Gabriel and Guillaume is really good. Patrick Chan, Yuna Kim, that's all of my world. Mm. And, but I don't have really favorite skaters, yeah, sure. but I, I really look everyone because everyone has something different. You're good or bad, or not really good or not really bad. But Everyone has something different, and that's cool to see. Yeah, sure. What's, I can make like this skater, but different yeah. too. Because that's bad if I look at the skater and say, oh, that's really good, I want to do the same. But if I do the same, I'm not unique, I don't yeah, have my mood, I don't have my style. Yes, mm. that's cool to try to do the same to be better, and or the same to not better to be, try to be at the same level because we can't be better than someone do a move. You know sure. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I see what you mean, yeah. And that's cool because you learn the move of someone and you try to do a new move too to mm. make something different, like the cheesy slide. Because now I'm happy because it's not my move, but I know everybody say, oh, your move, yeah. it's amazing. And every skater here mm. in every competition told me, oh, we try at training and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody say we, we try but we fail and I was like mm. oh, makes you feel good <laughs> yes yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like mm, yes <laughs> that's really cool did you did you take dance classes ever or did you just dance around uh, no. the house and when I was in Grenoble I take two hour dance but it was with the ice center mm. and I did classic modern jazz and everything of dance like the move count the music learn the body on the music mm. the breath everything and now I'm I'm learning this one hour per week with a really because now I'm too old to learn the not the the feel inside my body mm. now I'm I have the move and now I need just control and learn how to be better like have a good posture yeah have good arms in the good mm. place have a good neck have a good back like to be not perfect because we can't be perfect, but the, have the best move yeah, like, sure. to be better. So is choreography something that you want yes. to go into then? Yeah, I want to stay in the skating world to be choreographer. That's mm. my that's my dream because I I start to make some program in with the chapel where we train, mm -hmm. and I try I start I did one program this season. It was just a short program, and Sylvia John said. Okay, you go with this girl and you make the program. And I was like, oh my god, how are you gonna do that? Like, and, and the girl was really loving the program, mm. like we did something cool. I'm not like, yes, I did something cool, but she really loved work with me because it was the first time I worked with someone and I was totally lost, like I don't know what to talk with the skaters. Sure. But, and, and I know she liked because one month ago, she came back with music and she said, I found the music for the new season. Are you okay? Ah. And I'm like, I don't know. You choose your music. That's your program. And she said, no. Are you okay to work with me again? And I'm like, <laughs> of course. Repeat customer. Yes. <laughs> and I was happy because it's a dream to, yeah. to make something, to make the move because that's a different life. That's something I like. Yeah. Yes. How do you want to develop these two programs over the course of the season? What are you um, going to do? I want the short be more a pleasure one for me. Like I'm, 
I have more, more pleasure now in smiling because I don't like smiling nice. I'm sorry, but I'm but on the short I'm really focused on the technical. Mm -hmm. But now I'm a little bit smiling and enjoy the move and yeah, it's fun because the music it's like that. Yeah. And now I want to be really like not a show program but a show program. Mm. Like it need it's not a show because it's competition. It's a need be in a square. Okay. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. It's need be Too control. And, like, yes. Control, yeah. But it's need be like like a jump, a fun, yeah, speed, feel. and feel the music, feel the audience around me, feel the judge. And for the free. I have everything inside me because I choose the music and I work 30% on this program with the choreography. Like John gives 30%, so we got 30% and make 30% okay. to make the whole, yeah. Yes. And I know I put really a big part of me on this program and I know I don't need work on my emotion, on the move. I need just really work on the technical now. Mm -hmm. That's the big things I need. Is that like stability on the quads? Or? Yes, yes. and. Maybe another one because I ah. arrive. I have, I you train have options Sako now. and yeah. Sako nice full rotation. Sometimes one feet, sometimes two. But sure. Maybe what? at the European, that's the goal for me to have two different or two quads at the European. Amazing. What sort of success rate are you at on the south? In one week, if I try 12, 15 per day, I think maybe one can be on one foot. It's okay. It's a young born. <laughs> Work yeah. in progress, yeah. Yes. But that's really exciting. I hope that's we get cool. to see it. That's amazing. Okay. Oh, but let, okay, so fine. So we should also tell the internet that um, you are to be given Bob Wazowski. It's not Bob Wazowski oh in English, he's got a different name. Yes, it's Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike Wazowski. Mike okay. I know because the first time I arrived in USA with the with my little Bob with Yeah, me. your little plushie, yeah. Um, and everybody was like, oh, who is it? And I say, it's Bob. And everybody's looking like, no, it's Mike. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's Bob. <laughs> that was really fun. And I know now in English, in the real movie, it's Mike. But in It'll French, in French, in yeah. French, it's Bob. And it was my favorite Disney character. Because when I was young, I looked Monster and Co. Mm. So many times. Three times per day, <laughs> and I remember Bob was for me uh, my friend mm. because I go to a Disney Disney World Land in Paris, and I was in the store and I take one with me, and after he stay with me all my life. I think it's like my skate. My skate it's every time with me. Bob mm. is every time with me. Like so, you, are you gonna sit him on yes. the edge of the ring to watch his? Yeah, sometimes okay, I fine. come with him. That's fun. Cool. That's my favorite character. That's my best friend. <laughs> so you want to collect as many as possible, or is it just oh, the one no. original I, special? I one? have one because the first one is the first one. But yeah. when I saw people give me some on mm. ice, I was really, really happy. Like <laughs> that's give me something special. I was yeah. Like, oh my god, it's Bob! <laughs> and I was really happy. Okay, cool. So everyone, take note. Everyone it's take like note. the Winnie with Winnie the Pooh with Anu. Yeah, but it's not going to be a, a rain. A yellow rain, it's going to be a green rain. Yeah. <laughs> I Let's hope aim so for one that. day. <laughs> we'll make it but happen. Yes, maybe. And then, That's just the fact. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, it's really it's cool. Bomb. That way people know what to give you. <laughs> uh, last question, when will we see you skate in pajamas if it wasn't today? Um, mm, I'm going to do it after the national because it's, uh, it's in France, it's a French Different song. Yeah. It's a story of uh, a guy, he don't want to go outside, he want to stay in a bed all the day, don't go to the dinner with friends. Oh, I know which song we're talking about. It's Le Dîner de Bernard. Oui, <laughs> uh, that's, and I remember one day, because Grenoble, mm -hmm. every end of the season, we organize a really big show with mm -hmm. every skater of the ice center, yeah. because we are too many, like 500 skaters in this ice center. Wow. That's a really big show with TV. And every year we have a tent. Mm -hmm. And and yes, yeah, sometimes it's around the world. Or and one time it was the food. And we do. I know with my team we mm -hmm. do a group 
a group, group number. Uh, group yeah. number. It was on champagne. We chose champagne and was like, what are we gonna do? Mm. And we used the for the liquid. Mm -hmm. We used the music of U2. Mm -hmm. It was uh, intro. Exonerous part two. Oh, it's just like okay, fine. Yes, yeah. and that was really cool for the liquid because yeah. it was mm -hmm. a smooth Pouring music, it, yeah. and it was in the gold. The guy was with uh, <laughs> a white shirt with gold paint and for the bubbles. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. And the girl was in totally one piece gold, mm. and we have uh, a balloon with alien. Uh, with a big uh, little string with uh, the balloon and it was uh, the but we keep with us all the first part mm -hmm. all the first part because it's the liquid it's in the bottle sure and after we put we put a, a fun sound of the pop of the bottle yep. of champagne mm -hmm. and we we take out the balloon and the balloon we feel I'm going the air like you know the bubble like in the, the glass rising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and after it was the music it's a French music it's the la bourgeoisie mm -hmm. Sure. Like uh, the song for people speak English, yes. it's the story of a really bad girl. She's drinking too much champagne with rich people. <laughs> and it was this music, it's like a little bit disco. And that was the first part smooth, so the liquid. And after the pop of champagne, because we take the champagne with the bow and go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after we was like, we are drunk and we dance on ice, that was fun. And that was the food theme of the show. Mm. And, I, and I was like, I don't gonna. When I gonna choose like tomato for my show, I was like no. Um, and I say what I gonna do. And the song it's the dinner mm -hmm. for the French song and the story of the dinner. It's a guy who wants to stay all the day at home. Yes. Don't go to go to the dinner with friends. He say he's delivered. fat <laughs> and he wanna stay in pyjama. And I take a pillow and a big cover on ice and something on ice. And I was fake sleeping on ice. And after the music starts, and I wake up. And at the end of the show, I go back in the bed. That was really fun. Great. Well, well it sounds amazing. Conceptual comedy. Thank we'll you. <laughs> to sing it after nationals. Um, I realize I've kept you longer than I said I would. Thank you That's so much. That's okay. Um, and yeah, we'll look forward to seeing you at nationals and then hopefully Europeans after that. Yes, Europe and it's my goal. I don't want to catch this spot because yeah. last year I the spot leaving. <laughs> and, but that was for a good reason. Mm -hmm. Now I understand what Federation did for me and it's a thank you. But really now, now I work and now I, I'm here to, the, to say like, okay, I'm here to perform. I'm not here to discover the skate anymore. I did this last season, sure. and I'm here to this season to perform and show to everybody my name. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. To yeah, show my name. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And I'm sure that will happen for you. Hope so. Everyone's I'm working so for that. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there you have it. That was Kevin Nimoz. Don't forget to make it rain Mike plushies for him the next time you see him live. We won't have a new episode this week, but if you want more news from the International de France competition, you can check out our episode 19, in which Danny, Kat and Tilda recap their highlights from the competition, or our special interview with Stéphane Lambien. You can find both wherever you usually find our podcasts. See you soon. Bye.